Yo, it's Alex from EDMGhostProduction.com and today we're gonna make a comparison and review of the new MacBook Pro 2018. Ta-da! And we're gonna compare this one with the previous model. It's a top custom 2017 model. So let's see what's inside. This is the best uh, custom-made MacBook Pro of 2018, but uh, it doesn't come with four, four gigabytes of SSD. It just have only one. So 15-inch MacBook Pro, 29 gigahertz, i9 processor, uh, Radeon Pro 560X, 32 gigabytes RAM, and one terabyte SSD. This is the moment I've been waiting for. It's always a pleasure to unbox new. MacBooks looks so nice. I just don't want to hurt the package. And da da da, there you go. Okay. Woo New baby instead of the previous one. Cool. So, let's see what inside. And inside is just a laptop. Two meters of USB-C charger. Instructions and charger. That's it, nothing else. La -la -la. <laughs> Ta -da! Wow. And this one is 4 cores, 3 1 Intel i7 GHz, Radeon 560, 16 GB RAM, DDR3, and 500 GB SSD. So, this is the first CPU test, and um, since I'm a musician, I'm interested in how much plugins can my. Um, can my computer, new computer, play at the same time? So what I did is I opened a Logic X uh, with the Serum plugin. I opened uh, two oscillators, oscillator A and B, and I put 16 uh, voices on each one of them. This is a pretty uh, heavy uh, load for the CPU, and. Uh, I put it to play one, two, three, four, five notes uh, in the chord, and uh, I duplicated this chord many times. Uh, it sounds like this now. Yeah, pretty ugly. And uh, I also put a equalizer on master, so uh, it won't hurt your ears when I play all those sounds together. Maybe only your subs, but I hope you're watching YouTube without subs. Um, let's play 35 exactly the same tracks, exactly the same settings on 2018 MacBook Pro. No, it's just not working as you can see. Just system overload. I can't even play a single circle here. And what if I delete one of them? Alright, still crashing. Hmm. Alright, as, as you can see, um, right now my computer can play 31 instance of uh, Serum in just one loop, in one cycle. Boom. Okay, so 31, remember this. At 28, we have uh, a circle played two times. Yeah, two times without crashing. Let's move further.
Yep. Three circles, 24 instances. there. Almost no crashes on 20 units of serum. As you can see on the graphs it's also uh, it's not picking that much like we used to used to have it previously. So there is some headroom for uh, for CPU. Let's compare this to MacBook Pro 2017. So now you see 2017 MacBook Pro and we're gonna compare exactly the same thing which we did with 2018 version. Let's start with 29 instances of Serum. That. It just can't play anything. Let's remove. Still overloaded. Nothing. Nothing. So bad. Right, almost with 18 uh, serum settings, we can have uh, almost one loop played without uh, overloading the system. Okay, 17 instances of Serum can play uh, a loop two times. Okay, three times here. As you can see on this graph, there is now a headroom which allows your processor to to have some headroom. <laughs> but it's still when it gets to the peak, you can't play sounds anymore. Alright, all right, so 14 instances of Serum, it's way less than we have with 2018 MacBook Pro. And what I can say by um, my test is that I see the significant upgrade in speed and overall production uh, for about 30% in time and CPU. Uh, so my advice is definitely to, if you, if you have 2000 15 or uh, 17 model it's worse to upgrade it but the price uh, difference is really huge from for me it was about um, 
one and a half thousand dollars to for upgrade if you have that money yes it's worth to do this the another test I'm very interested in is the time which my computer will have to do uh, to render the project to bounce the file the whole track this track is uh, 70 minutes 25 seconds it's not a something big like huge project of mine it's just 41 41 track and uh, 42 is a master channel uh, pretty much contains of audio files yeah 50% audio 50% synthesizers uh, not too much on processing effects yeah but there are some heavy uh, sands going on on the synthesizers the settings on my audio uh, I'm using Universal Audio Apollo Twin Mark II Quad Core uh, with some UED plugins here and uh, buffer size is 512 um, let's start and save it I'm gonna save mp3 file high quality the best quality which we can do is mp3 and 24-bit uh, WAV file I'm gonna press start on my timer and bounce at the same time one two three let's go well since I've already done this test for quite a few times I can tell you the results the MacBook Pro 2017 uh, was running this test saving this project for on average 3 minutes 30 seconds and the MacBook Pro 2018 did the same thing on average of 2 minutes 30 seconds so 1 minute difference on this kind of tests rendering the full track I think that this is pretty significant change and uh, this will really help me to save my time rendering stamps rendering uh, demos project files yeah while I was making both tests on both computers they were connected HDD drive and uh, UED Apollo sound card and LG Ultrafine 5k monitor all, the, all of those instruments were connected by Thunderbolt 3 and if you will run exactly the same test which I did on your computer without connected to anything maybe just a charger then you'll have different results so please don't blame me or don't com compare uh, the results of my test with your tests uh, also keep in mind that for all of the tests I used this sound card with buffer size, uh, buffer size 512 and I didn't uh, make it more or less I just used the uh, average buffer size because if you use like 100 or 200 buffer size then yeah you can have a less delay on recording live instruments but if you make a, a thousand buffer size then it's easier for your CPU to run uh, thanks for watching and see you next time